Hi everyone, Joe for Jazby's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Prism World Cup Soccer. Six box, half case, pick your team, number three. All card chip and there was no filler. We did this straight up. Thanks everyone. And it's half case from a fresh case right here as well. So right here, new release day. Thanks everyone for making this happen. Appreciate it. Patrick with a double last spot mojo got Australia and that combo right here. So the, that 11 team combo features those teams. Special discount. Patrick taking advantage of the special discount for those final two teams. Gets the double last spot mojo. Gets this break on the road. Second half is in the store right now. And um, that is already in single digits. So if you want to... If you want to get that going, I'm down to do that tonight. All right, so here's one, two, three, four. shape box for my table here. One, two, three, four, five, and six. It's a big stack there. Then we got one, two, Six. So there's six on the left column and then six on the right column. Empty box here. And let's roll the die. One, two, three for the left side, four, five, six for the right side. Six, right side. So this we will save for next time. We're just gonna put X's on those so you know they're all from the same case. Just set these back on this table here for now. And like I mentioned, there are not too many teams left and we have time to break this tonight if you'd like to the sad, that second half. So I'm down if you are down. I know it's getting a little late on a uh, on a Wednesday night in the middle of our work week, but I'm down. After all, it is a new release after all. After all. After all, it is a new release after all. That's the quote. You know what I mean. All right. Good luck, everybody. Yeah, Nick Gaiard is saying, work and wait. Stay up late. Finish off the second half. Let's get it done. In the previous uh, half case break of this, this is Pigger Team 3. When we were doing Pigger Team 2, we were talking about um, a couple interesting things. What, upsets. What? There's always someone reminded me. Uh, is it David? D David B., I think it was, reminded me. There's always some random upset in the group stage. Knockout stages, I feel like that can be a little chalk, right? But the variance is what happens in those group stages. Anyone have any, have any updates? Updates, upsets, some upset specials that they want to share? I think David was saying he thinks Belgium could, is ripe for an upset in group F. They are the favorites, minus 188. Then it's Croatia plus 250, Morocco plus 1,000, and Canada plus 1,200, 12 to 1. It's not a bad shout, I think. 
I feel like Canada Canada might be inexperienced, but they did have, I feel like they did have good CONCACAF run. You know, they look pretty strong. They're there. They have a bit of a younger and energetic team that could make some noise. All right, let's see what kind of noise we can make in this first box. Good luck, everybody. There's Manuel Neuer, Cracked Ice, all card ship, of course. It might be worth looking up some of these rookies. They may make make some noise in uh, in the World Cup, or just hold on to them. Maybe they'll be primed for, uh, you know, maybe they, they might be primed for being stars in the World Cup four years from now because they're rookies here. Although Karim Adeyemi may make some noise in the World Cup for Germany. That goes to Grant. Nick saying France could be upset. Ooh. All right, all right. Yeah, that Adeyemi is nice. In fact, let me just top, that's a rookie silver. Let's top that, top load that, Grant, in Germany. Yeah, Nick saying a lot of injured players from league play for Le Bleu. France, at least according to VegasInsider.com. Ooh, look at this. The National Landmarks card, Casper Schmeichel for Denmark. I love these cards. I think these are awesome. Robert Runkel and Denmark. That's what it looks like. There's some nice European castles. There's some swans. Uh, I guess these flowers are a Danish thing? And these statues? Hmm. That must be, is that a, I don't know. Hans Christian Andersen is from, uh, is from, is, is Danish. I thought they'd lean into that a little bit more, but. There's Felix Afena Guyan to 199 for Ghana. There's Luka Susic, 68 out of 399 for Croatia. That will be for Grant as well. But yeah, so France is in a group with Denmark, speaking of Kasper Schmeichel. France, Denmark, Australia, Tunisia. So Nick, if you're saying that France is going to be upset, is going to be out, d does not advance, who does advance from Denmark, Australia, Tunisia? There's Arthur Teate for Belgium. And the autograph is that's Killen Acosta, International Inc. That is for Grant in the United States. And we got a Matthias Vigna, 42 out of 75 for Uruguay. It's going to be for Visarut. And there is a U.S. Silver team card. Pink parallels as well. So Denmark, so I think the top two advance, right? So France, Denmark, Australia, Tunisia. If you're saying France is gonna be upset and is out of the group, Denmark wins the group, who's second? Australia maybe? Tunisia could surprise. Gio Reyna could be someone to watch for uh, for us. There's Jeremy Pino for Spain, Ben Smith. So yeah, so bold statement here. Maybe not so bold actually, but but Nick Gallardo is saying, on the account of some, some injuries for Le Bleu, 
right? Because due to league play, you could see France getting upset. Denmark and Australia moving on. Here's William Saliba for Le Bleu, 43 out of 299. Damien is thinks, yeah, Group C is going to be pretty exciting. That's uh, Argentina, Poland, Mexico, and Saudi Arabia. You know, and cutters in a, you know, cutters in Saudi Arabia's backyard, so there could be a lot of Saudis supporting their team. Argentina is winning. Argentina is winning that group, right? I don't think they're going. That's that's not an upset candidate, is it? But I guess second place that could be the runner-up of that group could be the interesting, interesting battle. Poland, Mexico, Saudi Arabia. Don't discount that sort of that home region uh, advantage. I want to say Russia won their in 2018. Did, didn't Russia win their group? And I don't think they expect to do much in other national competitions. But I think they, uh, I think they advanced from the group and won a knockout stage, at least one. I think. Um, there was a World Cup, I want to say, in Korea, Japan. Split a World Cup, right? And I think both Korea and Japan advanced pretty far. I want to say Korea may have gone to like the quarterfinals, something like that. I think, that, I think which still stands as their best, their best finish in a, uh, in a World Cup. And I want to say the manager of that team was Goose Hiddink. Some of you may remember Goose Hiddink. There's Piero Hincapié to 199 for Ecuador. That'll be for Patrick in that 11 team combo. So I think I think Goose Hiddink for sports fans in Korea does not have to buy a beer there anywhere he goes. If he even goes back to Korea. Maybe he does. I don't know. Maybe for some anniversary events. Nick Iron saying Messi deserves a World Cup. They need to win. Um, I think I for our social media, I think I did a World Cup prediction, and I think I did. A, I want. I hope they're on the opposite sides of their groups, but I I did say England. I did say England Argentina World Cup final. A rematch of that mid '80s World Cup matchup, that famous matchup. There's uh, Alexis Vega for L3. That'll be for Joe. There's a Gabriel Martinelli rookie card. Love to see some parallels of him. That's for Brazil. That'll be for Eric. Is that your young goat, Damien? Byron product, Josip Stanisic for Croatia. That goes to Grant Backer. Damien Cortez, Grant, big fan of him. And for the orange, Cody Gakpo. Gakpo, rookie autograph for Sasha and the Netherlands. For the orange. And there's Paul Pogba, 378 out of 399. Whose contributions for club have often been questioned, but his contributions for country have always seemed to be a lot better. 
which leaves their club fans scratching their heads. That's a Germany silver, by the way, for Grant. Going, why doesn't he do that for the club team? For Argentina, we got Lutaro Martinez. Pink. Is Pogba one of those players that are injured? Hmm. It's Jude Bellingham. I think a lot of a lot of a lot of uh, football clubs will be looking for his signature next year, including my club Liverpool. Although, are they for sale? Totally for sale? I don't know how much of them are for sale. <laughs> There's Gianluca Busio, two forty-one out of three ninety-nine for the Estados Unidos. We got E. J. Sung. E. J. Sung going to Korea. That's for Pang Sun Hwan. All right. Next box. Now, the U.S. men's national team was announced. How do we like the uh, how do we like the selections? All right, I think um, I guess. I get, I'm not too familiar with this with, with all the players on their squad, I'll be honest with you, but I was a little surprised that Ricardo Pepe had done well well in qualifying, but is not uh, is not in the team. But then again, he's only like 19. But you would think that they would just put him on the squad for the experience. I, I thought that was that's often a thing, right? Where you put like a, a really young player on the bench, but you don't really play him, but you just give him the taste of the World Cup, the, you know, the feel for it, you know, and all the, the whole circus around it. You kind of get a player used to that. And so that way, in four years, the next World Cup cycle, they're not, they're not as wide-eyed or they don't have, like, too much pressure. You know, you put them out there for 10 minutes and it's the end of a match or something like that. Or, so... That just seems, just in terms of just, ex well, yeah, even if he's not, even if his loan spell wasn't on par, I mean, I would think they, they would just take him just for the experience and be like, you know, here's what it feels like to be part of this World Cup circus. So next time, because it's going to be worse when it's in the United States, when it's here in, in, in North America, there's going to be, there's going to be a lot more media. And a lot more pressure. Because he's on home soil. He'll be playing on home soil. So I, I thought that was a little interesting. I, I don't know enough about um, the keeper, Zach Steffen, Haji, right? Or uh, Zach Steffen, I think, was the other sort of surprise that people are saying. They are taking Haji right, though. So some interesting, uh, some interesting things. Interesting things happening. Oh, the autograph popping early. It's... It's Johnny Haitinga. That will be for the orange, Sasha, with Netherlands. Does he want, does Ricardo Pepe want to leave Oscar? There's Johan Vasquez for LT, 12 out of 399. And there's a Brazil silver team card. You know what? Here's another card with like a weird dent right there. I noticed that there was, that Schmeichel was clean, but so anyway, Eric Brazil, just keep that in mind. Sorry about that. There's Christian Pulisic, pink, not number, but going to the USA. Grant. I believe that we can win. 
we got Kim Min Jae. Kim Min Jae going to going to Sung Hwan. Rookie silver. And there's Cody Gapo. Gapo. Gakpo. 107 out of 299. Rookie blue for Sasha in the Netherlands. Another rookie silver, this time for Ecuador. That is for Patrick, that part of that 11 team combo. That's Piero Hincapié. Incapié? And there he is again. A lower number this time. 3 out of 22 for Patrick. And that 11 team combo. We got Josko Vardiol for Croatia, cracked ice for Grant. Rookie cracked ice. Got Eric Garcia to 199 for Espana. That'll be for Ben. And we got another Croatian right here as well. All right, halfway through this half case break. Three boxes in, three boxes to go. Got the case hit already. That's Casper Schmeichel, the uh, Landmarks card. Uh, let's look up look up World Cup look up the World Cup bracket. Is there a fun? Is there an easy bracket I could I can take a look at? folks doing their bracket challenges I guess what I'm trying to look for maybe I'll look maybe I'll look it up later but um, who does who does the US play let's say it goes chalk and England wins the group and US is the runner-up in that group does A play B? Is it A, B, and then C, D, E, F? G, H? So B2, we're in group B. B2, A1, could be Netherlands? You know what? Wikipedia will have it. Aha, yeah. Winners of Group A will face runners-up of Group B. So if the United States end up as runners, uh, let's, let's say, for example, England uh, wins the group, United States is second in the group. And we will face the winner of Group A, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal, and Netherlands. I mean, we can probably beat the Orange, right? And then who would we play? <laughs> the winner of Runners Up, Winners Group C, Runners Up Group D, Winners Group C, let's say that's, oh, that's Argentina, 
And then runners up group D, let's say that's Denmark, Argentina wins that. Then it'll be US Argentina in the next match. And then I think maybe tears for the Americans after that. All right. Unless we win group B. <laughs> We'd have to we have to win the group. Although I'm sure there's some other tough team. Yeah. Wait. Is now I heard that he is that confirmed that that Senegal is going to lose Sadio Mane for the entirety of the World Cup. I thought he might be able to just might be able to just make it. Or has that been confirmed that he's that it's Dunzos? That'd be a shame. All right, the autograph is William Gallas. Remember him? For Le Bleu, that's going to be for Sean Maddock with France. 19 out of 25. And then back here is Al Almoez Ali, 166 out of 199 for the home country cutter. And that will be for the 11 team combo for Patrick. Can he still play? Okay. I didn't know if there was like a, 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 a. That's based off of news from like days ago. I didn't really. I thought that maybe something had changed. There's Eric Gutierrez for L3. That's the pink rookie going to Joe and Mexico. There's Anthony Silver and a new era, Mike uh, Magnan for Le Bleu. Fubar, what's going on? Alfonso Davies still supposed to play after an injury, so that, that, that's a good boost for the Canadians, Damien's saying. There's Matthew Ryan, 263 out of 399 for Australia. Patrick Cox, Australia. 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 You can the elongate some of the. There's uh, Marcelo Flores. Cracked ice. Rookie. Joe with Mexico. And we got Saeed. Saeed is that. Zato Lahi for Iran. That will be for uh, probably a combo. Yeah, combo team. Patrick Cox. There's Pulisic Hyper Parallel. Might be his last World Cup cycle. Leon, it's got to be, right? I can't imagine he's going to play another World Cup cycle after this. Yeah, David B. saying Davies will be ready for the first match. We got N'Golo Kante to 75. N'Golo Kante might be injured, right? Might not make it for the World Cup. It's for France. That'll be for Sean. There's Charles de Quetelaria, 219 out of 399 for Belgium. Belgium red. David, little color match. There's Nuno Mendes for Portugal. That's going to go to Nick Stober. Penultimate box. That, that N'Golo Kante chant, chant it sort of reminds me. Look up the, uh, look up uh, on YouTube after I'm done with this. Of course, I'm your primary uh, thing you have to watch. But after the show, go look up uh, Yaya Toure and Kolo Toure chants. 
fan chance. Those are pretty fun. Turn that around. Don't turn around if you want to see my heartbreak. Turn around every now and then. I feel a little bit There's Milan Borjan for Canada. Rookie Silver for Greg and the Canadians. Canadians or Canadians? Canadians. There's the Montreal Canadians. There's uh, I Merrick Laporte to two ninety nine. Laporte going to Spain. That would be for Ben. Damien likes the Arsenal's chant for Mesodozil. Do they have a chant for Mesodozil? Here's a fun chant for uh here's Mark Anthony K, one twelve to one ninety nine for Canada. Here's a fun chant for John Joe Shelby. I don't know if I don't know how often this has happened, but some Harry Potter related John Joe Shelby chant. There's Tom Rogic for the Aussies. Aussies. And a Ricardo Pepe Silver. Now, he's not on the team this year, Grant. But, I mean, he, that's, he's part of, the, part of our future, right? So, Rookie Silver, hang on to this one. I'm not, not liking the centering here, but, you know, but hang on to this one maybe in four years. We'll see a real big boost in value for that card. I don't know. I wish the centering was better. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd be like, hey, you better grade that, but it'd be better left ungraded. Gabriel Martinelli for Brazil. That'll be for Eric. Brazil. Diago Jota to 299. Hopefully, he'll be healthy for not only club, my club, Liverpool, and country, Portugal. Portugal's got an interesting. Set of youngsters and like, you know, wily veterans like Cristiano Ronaldo. To two ninety nine, Diogo Jota, Portugal, Nick Stober. And we got a Huabi uh, Kazri. Oh, for Tunisia, I thought that was gonna be like some sort of autograph. Maybe it's a short print. I don't know. I'll sleep it just in case. Uh, and then we've got Ali Golizadeh. Golizadeh. Iran for Patrick. And for Portugal, it's Thiago, International Inc. It's going to be for Nick Stober. Got some International Inc. We got Ferran Torres, 68 out of 399. For Spain, that'll be for Ben. We got Australia Silver. Australia. Patrick Cox. Australia. That's not a good Australian accent. Australia. Just, just elongate those A's. Australia. I don't know, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. Soccer. Soccer. Prism World Cup Soccer. There is for Mexico, Alexis Vega. Rookie Silver for L3. That goes to Joe Andreessen.
There's Elise Shakiri, 38 out of 99 for Tunisia. That'll be for the 11 team combo. Going to Patrick, another Ricardo Pepe. This one better centered, but not silver. And the final box. Good luck. Final box of the brand new 2022 Panini World Cup Soccer. An exciting World Cup. Exciting World Cup year in spite of all the... I mean, every World Cup's kind of shady, right? Cutter's no different from whatever shadiness they had to do to get the World Cup to actually make the World Cup happen in their country, but... Setting that all of aside for a little bit, a, uh, a November a November 20th through September 18th World Cup, that's going to be something we're going to remember for a while. And this I didn't realize. Um, I, thought it was, I thought that felt kind of short. Uh, this is... This is according to Wikipedia. Due to Cutter's intense summer heat, OVS, this World Cup will be held in late November to mid-December, making the first tournament not to be held in May, June, or July, and to take place in the in the northern autumn. It will also be played in a reduced time frame of around 29 days. Yeah, I thought it was a little bit longer than that. I thought they added it was more than a month, more than 30 days. Looks like looks like uh, they're really tightening that up. Yeah, the Bundesliga is against the World Cup in Qatar. Qatar very aggressively. I mean, <laughs> I always think it's awfully convenient for pe for people to be outraged now. I mean. Where was the outrage when the uh, when the selection was happening? Like back in what two thousand nine or something like that. Jonathan David for Canada. Rookie silver for Greg. Greg B. There's Cody Gakpo, autograph, rookie autograph for Sasha and the Netherlands. We got Blue Mojo, Youssef and Nasiri, seven out of seventy-five. That is for Morocco. It's part of the eleven-team combo for Patrick. Is uh, Damien saying Jonathan David's supposed to make a move to a big club? David, that is, yeah, it, it is kind of cool seeing, especially the Americans, it's kind of cool seeing these, a, a lot of North American players, there's Bukayo Saka, um, starting to make their way into some of the bigger name clubs in Europe and in England. It's always, it's cool to see. There's Junya Ito for Japan, that'll be for Nick. Before, it's like, oh, wow, Landon Donovan getting some games in Germany. You know, it used to be like, wow, you know. And look at, uh, why am I blanking on uh, Clint Dempsey? And I was like, Clint Dempsey, oh, wow. But now we're seeing like a lot more younger players ending up at bigger clubs and, you know, so I think that's pretty exciting. There's Montessar Talbi to 199 for Tunisia. That's Fort Patrick. So it's pretty exciting. I think that just raises the level of everyone's games. For Costa Rica, there's Anthony Contreras, rookie silver for Costa Rica. That's going to go to the 11 team combo, Patrick.
There's Jeremy Doku, 161 out of 399 for Belgium. That is for David. There's Ivan Perisic, Cracked Ice. Kovacic, Matty Cash, Kimmich, Huang, Mane, and we've got Idrisu Baba for Ghana. That will be 3 out of 25. Nice low number. Rookie card as well. Part of the 11 team combo. Going to Patrick. And that, my friends, is that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We got a lot of soccer on the site. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. And I guess as, as we get closer and closer to the World Cup, we'll try to post more and more soccer so we have a good excuse to break soccer, talk soccer, enjoy the World Cup matches together. We'll be discussing them all World Cup long, so keep watching with us and breaking with us. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.